Welcome back to Tank Blue Frenchies, guys. Um, in today's video, we have puppies. Um, Coco had her puppies. We had six puppies. Unfortunately, one passed away, and now we only have five. Um, we have some beautiful colors. We'll be throwing more videos and content out soon with the puppies. Right now, we're just trying to take care of them and make sure that they're healthy puppies. I guess I can briefly explain what was going on. Um, everything kind of hit us pretty fast, and we really didn't know how to react to it, but we stick through it. Um, I think it was almost roughly a 16 hour delivery or 16 hour in, of Coco in labor. And it was pretty painful for both me and my wife. Um, we both pulled through, um, stayed up pretty late, and we had puppies. I'm kind of glad we were both there. Um, there were some times where we had to cut, you know, the umbilical cord, even though you know, Coco should be doing that, but this is her first time being a mom, so she didn't know what was going on, didn't know what to do. Um, I have a little short clip as to what she was doing and how I knew that she was in going into labor. Um, we tried to keep track of her temperature, but that didn't really work as well as we wanted to. Um, her temperature was just fluctuating too high and too low for us to actually know if she was in labor or not. Um, once she was actually in labor, I took her temperature and it was go time. Uh, but at that point, it was already too late. Um, we were planning on doing a C-section. Fortunately, um, I did not make it to the vet on time. Uh, she delivered her first puppy as soon as I put her in a box to take her to the vet to have a C-section. So that automatically, you know, canceled out the C-section. We were lucky that she didn't have any issues pushing out some of the puppies. Um, nothing too major. She did have a few little small issues with it. Um, let me go ahead and roll the clip of what she looked like when she was about to give birth. As you guys can see, she was starting to pant. Um, she wasn't really pushing. She was pretty calm at first, and just out of nowhere, she just started kind of like trembling a little bit and panting. Um, once I checked her rear side, I could see, you know, a big old ball, meaning that the puppy was already going to be coming. And once I saw that, you know, I tried to get a box, a blanket, try to put her on there, and try to take her to the car so we could take her to the vet to get a C-section. But as soon as I did that, um, she pretty much started pushing and I knew that we weren't gonna be able to make it to the vet. Um, fortunately, we were there and, you know, with her and were able to assist her as she needed delivering the puppies. She delivered six puppies. You can see the beautiful colors that they had. I have already uploaded a bunch of YouTube shorts. If you guys want to go ahead and check out the colors, there they are. Um, we also have Pomeranian puppies. Check it out. Our Pomeranian had four Pomeranian puppies. Um, they're beautiful, amazing. Right now they're actually super fluffy. I've uploaded some shorts of some YouTube shorts on the channel as well. You guys can go check that out. Um, we're blessed. We're glad that our puppies made it through and that we're not having as many issues as we, you know, could have encountered. Um, right now we're, you know, sanitizing everything that we can. We're keeping them controlled temperature environment and both moms are doing pretty good. Um, Coco wasn't really doing too well. 
Um, the puppies were pretty small and she was kind of squishing on them. Um, that's how our first one kind of passed away. We weren't being that careful and she ended up squishing one. Um, unfortunately, he did not make it. Um, it's the little blue pied Frenchie that we had in the video. I'll show you guys here in a clip again of the puppies. The blue one, blue pied one did not make it. Um, the rest of the puppies are healthy. I'll take you guys right now to go see them. Give you guys a little bit of a better update. This is their actual size today. And I'll probably be uploading this video pretty soon. Here are the puppies. As you guys can see, this one here, this one, and this one are already milk wasted. Um, they're even trembling a little bit right now, as you can guys can tell. I guess they had a little too much to drink. These other two are still going at it. And my big girl right there is doing pretty good. Um, I'm able to leave them with her now. Now that they're a little bit bigger. But before that, you know, they were smaller and she was kind of squishing them. So we ended up adding this right here to the side. And they could go under that if she was to, you know, lean on them. Let's see if you can wake up right I wonder what they're dreaming of. Look at this one right here. He's just laid out. This is our female right here. This one's our male. She's our female as well. She has the little dark ears. All white, just dark ears. Um, the other female is really, you know, light gray, blue merle. I don't believe she might have some lilac in her too. This one's our dark blue merle. Look at that. He's nice. And here's our next one. I don't know if I should keep this one. What do you guys think? Should I keep him or should I let him go? Let me see if I can see his eye colors as you guys can see. Hey buddy. This other one, he's the biggest one of the whole pack. So chunky. And plumpy. I guess he's still asleep. Come on, buddy. Wake up. Wake up. But he's all white as well. And he has eye patches. Merle eye patches. I've never seen that before. Look at that. It's like they had two, she had two, or Coco had two twins, two white twins, and then two, I guess, light gray twins. And then this one's by himself. He's Ace Jr. We haven't really named him, but that's his nickname because he looks just like his dad. And my girl right here, tired as always. She's got a bunch of milk going on. Look at him. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. Two white ones are just <laughs> milk wasted. Oh, I guess he's mad. He doesn't want to be on camera. There's one. Here, he should be with mama out over here. Look at them. They're all fluffy. Look 
What do you guys think they look like? That's my beautiful girl Chloe. Good girl. Alright, so these puppies are up on our website now. Yes, we have an official website. Um, it's tangablufrenchies.com if you guys want to go check them out. I'll be having their you know professional pictures uploaded on there. Um, you guys can see the pricing. If you guys are interested, let me know on Instagram or on email. Um, we can get in contact however you guys would like. Um, we are taking a $500 deposit for a puppy to reserve a puppy and then uh, we will be delivering the puppies. Um, if you guys have any more questions, let us know. Um, follow us on Instagram if you haven't, Tank Blue Frenchies. And other than that, um, as you guys can see, the puppies are healthy. Um, they're pretty plumpy. And I can't wait for them to grow up, have them, you know, trained. We're going to do our best to have them puppy pad trained. Um, I want to get them delivered like that, puppy pad trained. I understand, you know, owners um, don't have time to train them. So we will do our best to have them, you know, puppy pad trained. Um, they will each come with full AKC registration. Um, all the paperwork is in place. I have those folders ready and basically all their paperwork ready. I also have some stickers, you know, ready for the, you know, social media platform that we're on. Uh, YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. Uh, we have stickers made already for it. If you guys are interested in getting one, you know, here they are. Let me try to zoom in. Focus. Boom. But if you guys are interested in a sticker, um, let me know on Instagram, shoot me a message, and we will try to get it delivered for you guys. Um, I do want to give some away as well. So to the first, let's say, first 10 people that message me about the sticker, um, I'll send it to you guys. Um, there's no charge for it for the first 10 people. If you guys want to show some support, I'll have it on the website as well. If you guys want to get a sticker ordered, um, I haven't really figured out the details, but I'll have them up soon. Um, but other than that, guys, stick around for the next episode. Um, I'll have more content coming up about of the puppies. And stick around for the little small YouTube shorts that I'll be posting. Um, I'll be posting a lot more on the TikTok with more, you know, short clips, funny, cute. Both of the Pomeranians and the Frenchies. So if you guys are interested, go over to TikTok, give us a follow, you know, give us a like if you want. But again, see you guys on the next one.